From the team you can trust, this is breaking news from News 8. Breaking news in our Sunrise Smart Start this morning. Two men sent to the hospital after two shootings around the same time overnight in Rochester. Officers responding to Sherman Street around 1230 this morning for the report of shots fired. Police found a 19-year-old man with a gunshot wound to the upper body. He was taken to the hospital with what are described as non-life-threatening injuries. No suspects are in custody. At the same time, police responding to Hudson Avenue and Avenue D in the city for the report of a person shot while on scene. Officers found evidence of a shooting, but no victim. Shortly after, a 27-year-old man was dropped off at the hospital by private vehicle with a gunshot wound to the upper body. He is in stable condition this morning. There are no suspects here. If you have any information about either shooting, you're asked to call 911. Rochester police also investigating a shooting that happened late Sunday night. Officers say a 17-year-old was shot around 10:30 on Dove Street, that was near Driving Park Avenue. The teenager was taken to the hospital and underwent surgery. No suspects are in custody. In other news this morning, President Biden acknowledging Americans are paying more for food, gas, and other basic needs and says it's only temporary. Joined this morning again by Washington correspondent Rashad Hudson. Rashad, good morning. Uh, let's begin here. How long does the White House expect these price increases to last? Good morning. The president didn't exactly say how long they're expecting this, these price increases to last, but he did take the opportunity to talk about how his Build Back Better plan will help lead drive down those costs and pr the high costs and prices. He's also touting the infrastructure deal, which the Senate is expected to take their first vote on tomorrow. But Republicans say more massive spending is not the way to compete with inflation. All right, Rashad, thank you so much. Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell said he believes recent inflation reports are temporary as well. Elsewhere, Monday, a Florida man sentenced to eight months in prison for his role in the attack on the U.S. Capitol. Paul Hodgkins was one of many who breached the Senate chambers back on January 6th. The 38-year-old is the first Capitol suspect charged with a felony to be sentenced. Many legal experts believe his punishment could set the bar for others. Dominic Pozzola of Rochester is being held in D.C. for his alleged involvement in the deadly Capitol riots. Thousands in California forced to evacuate as wildfires continue. The National Weather Service says the western U.S. will see elevated and critical fire weather conditions and widespread chances for dry thunderstorms. Currently, the flames in northern California near Lake Tahoe are 0% contained. About 30 square miles of land are under a severe wildfire warning. The haze and smoke from those fires being felt across the country, and as we've been talking about uh, even here in Rochester, we can see it. Yeah, really building in. James, you can hardly see the sun this morning. Yeah, amazing to see. Uh, I guess unfortunate, really, I should say. Uh all of the Northeast dealing with this, uh, with that haze out there, I think will continue at least through this morning. You need a cold front to get rid of it. You need some sort of system to push everything out. And that's what we've got as we get into this afternoon. If you're just thinking about that Tuesday golf round, I think for the morning time, you're okay. I think even in early afternoon tea time, you should be all right as well. Uh, but it's that afternoon, that evening, that twilight round, you'll have to watch out. Showers, thunderstorms push through the area. Uh, those could bring a threat for some heavy rain and gusty winds as well. We'll take a look at the commute forecast and the last look at the eight day at the end of the show. Mark Leo. James, thank you. Let's get a look at the roads again now with our sunrise traffic. A uh, couple of updates for you uh, in Penfield, an accident on Penfield Road at Henderson Drive and a vehicle fire on Route uh, 531. This is at Manitou Road in Gates, so avoid those areas at this hour. Happening today, the Rochester City School District is hosting a food drive with fresh produce available for local families. Carmela Boykin live this morning with how the district wants to ensure families have access to this food. Carmela, good morning. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, Leah. That's right. I'm live outside the RCSD headquarters, where within the district at the Flower City School 54, they'll be hosting a fresh produce drive from 11.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. I spoke with RCSD Executive Director Kelly Briggs, who says any family who lives within the school district or within Monroe County is eligible. In the Rochester City School District, we focus a lot on equity, right? And even equity when it comes to food, all access, everybody has access. So for us, it's, it's a no-brainer. 
And once again, the produce pickup food distribution event is today at the Flower City School, number 54, from 11.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Reporting in Rochester, Carmela Boykin, News 8. Mark and Leah. Carmela, thank you. Uh, a second food drive planned for this week as well. It's coming up Thursday at Clara Barton School 2. Briggs says the goal is to have distribution events at all of the RCSD schools. In other news this morning, Rochester Mayor Lovely Warren is scheduled to be arraigned tomorrow on charges related to a police search of her home. Warren will be arraigned alongside her husband, Timothy Granison, on charges of criminal possession of a firearm and endangering the welfare of a child. Warren will be arraigned in Monroe County, but before a Cayuga County judge. A missing Parma man has been declared dead now after his remains were positively identified by the Monroe County Medical Examiner. William Mason was last seen back on May 25th near his home on Westridge Road. Police say his remains were found in a fire pit on his property. We're told small bone fragments and surgical implants recovered by the Monroe County Sheriff's Office helped to identify Mason. Deputies believe this was a targeted murder. One man is in critical condition after a crash involving a boat in a jet ski. State police responding to Oneida Lake near Three Mile Bay last night around 7 o'clock. Troopers say a 54-year-old man and 31-year-old woman were on that jet ski when they hit a small fishing boat. We're told nobody in the boat was injured. The man on the jet ski had to be airlifted to Upstate University Hospital in Syracuse and is in critical condition with a severe leg injury. His passenger also sustained leg and facial injuries, but is expected to recover. The cause of that crash is under investigation. Long-awaited news here. Beginning August 9th, fully vaccinated Americans and Canadians living in the U.S. will be allowed to cross the border into Canada once again. The Canadian government says it will require a negative COVID test result regardless of your vaccination status. Fully vaccinated travelers will not need another test once they arrive in Canada unless randomly selected. Canadian officials say travelers must use ArriveCan to submit their travel information. Johnson & Johnson may put its baby powder liabilities into a new business that would seek bankruptcy protection. Um, there are reports out that Jane Jay's lawyers told plaintiffs that the move could result in lower payouts for cases that do not settle beforehand. The company faces legal action from thousands of people who say it's a baby powder and other talc products cause cancer. All right, here's what uh, some folks will be talking about at the old water cooler this morning. Amazon founder Jeff Bezos is heading to space later this morning, coming up in just a few hours. In fact, Blue Origin will launch at 9 o'clock this morning from Van Horn, Texas. The flight will travel over 60 miles above the Earth. Bezos will be joined by his brother, Mark, 82-year-old Wally Funk, one of the first women to train for space flight back in the 1960s and an 18-year-old Dutch student whose father bid $28 million mm. for his spot at auction. Wow. That's just a, little, a, fun crew. a little cheap trip. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> There's been so much build-up to this. So many people will be watching. It's at what, 9 o'clock? 9 o'clock this morning. And, and we'll have live coverage here we'll have live coverage. on News 8. Yes. Uh, when it happens, uh, you know, they mm. had the crew on CBS this morning yesterday. Yes. I just got a kick out of Wally Funk. She just yeah. had such a fun attitude about the whole thing. What'd she, she say? I didn't she see She is it. ready to go. She, she's is ready. She, she just, you know, she's up for any adventure, basically. Yeah. You know, right. that was the basic idea of it. She wants to get up in space, feel the zero gravity, mm -hmm. and just have some fun while she's up there. It seemed like she was carrying the team, to be honest. Yes. The, she was psyching up the Bezos brothers. Uh, and so, uh, you know, it's, it's fun to see her go up there with that crew. So I'm, I'm sure uh, it's going to be a lot of great pictures. Uh, from there. I wish I had a better picture of outside, but this is what it looks like with the haze uh, overhead. Is it sunglasses worthy? Mm, just barely, uh, really, with that haze. There's no windows in the studio, so we can't, can't really see much. Uh, but I'm gonna, definitely going to be poking you my head You tell us. Here. Right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> right, right in, let us know. Uh, your morning commute, though, no issues on roads. We've got uh, dry conditions out there, a temperature starting in the 60s. It's very comfortable, actually, uh, out there. But a warm afternoon. We expect temperatures to climb into the 80s today. And then it's really going to be the last day of 80s for quite a while. We, through the rest of the week, we're going to be talking highs in the 70s, so some cooler are on the way. I'm looking forward to those overnight lows in the 50s, mm -hmm. uh, freshen up the house, mm -hmm. and hopefully with the front tonight, 
that brings rain and storms. It gets rid of the haze. Open up the windows. Yes. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching News 8 at Sunrise. Our next update is coming up in 30 minutes. A CBS This Morning is up next. Have a great day. Follow News 8 wherever you are on RochesterFirst.com, Facebook, Twitter, and on our app for news and weather.